welcome back to our channel um if you check our video you see where um bianca the late uh uh, Ojuko's wife had actually written an open letter, emotional open letter, you know, letting the Igbo leaders, uh, those agitating for Biafra and the effect of the sit at home order on both Mazin and Bikano and the people as a whole. And it made them realize that, um, the Igbos are not known to be ungrateful and unthankful people, judging the fact that some unique future something unique in history happened between 1967 and 1970 which the umuibo will not forget in a hurry well i guess that's what is leading to the rising up of what the the Ndibos, the leaders, the social cultural group, the leaders of Ndibos are now calling Igbo Day. We are going to find out what it's all about and why they are saying what they are saying and what what is leading to this awakening. Mm. Home call if you ask me. But before we go into the news proper, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. What your hand is in the but worldwide when as they said September 29 had been set aside for the 2021 edition of the Igbo Day to reflect on the September 29, 1966 ethnic cleansing in which about 30,000 Igbos were killed in the northern Nigeria. The occasion to be held in Enugu has Onye Gana Wanyi Niya. Be your brother's, okay, Onye Gana Wanyi Niya. Okay, be your brother's keeper. Please pardon my pronunciation if it's not correct. And of course, according to the interpretation here, it says, be your brother's keeper as it, as his term. Okay. Okay, a statement by Honorable Alex Obonaya, National Publicity Secretary of the organization, said the President General of Ohanis the Ndibo, which is Professor George A. Obiozo, is optimistic that this year's Iwo Day will be very unique. Okay. Mazunam <laughs> Dekan is in detention. The planning committee is headed by the state chairman of the council of the council of traditional rulers that's his royal highness ambassador lawrence oc agubuzu agubuzu while honorable chedozi ibo obonaya is the secretary the event our respondent gathered would feature prayers public lectures and display by prominent ibo nollywood entrepreneurs according to the statement the grand finale which takes place at Makalopara square enugu on wednesday september 29 2021 will be chaired by chief allen onyama the chairman ceo of air peace it titled or it added the event will offer a unique opportunity for individuals captains of industries groups companies universities and states to showcase their local produce and innovations according to the statement the choice of september 29 was significant because the event of 1966 that led to the nigerian Biafran war were very remarkable in the first place the military coup of january 15 1966 snowballed into a chain of genocide against the Ndibos. it all began on May 29, 1966, in Kano, it was one of the most tragic days in Igbo history. It was the day over 3,000 Igbos were massacred in Kano as a consequence of what, what was considered an Igbo coup of January 15, 1966. Two months la later, January, that's July 29, Major General Johnson Thomas Umunekwe Aguin Rose, the head of state, was killed along with his host, Lieutenant Colonel Adekunle Fadjui, by another military officers in what was tagged a counter coup. As if that was not enough, on September 29, 1966, another major ethnic cleansing took place in which about 30,000 Igbos were killed in the northern Nigeria. The Ohane Zendibo has set aside September 29 every year as a special day. It is a day of sober reflections on one side and on one hand, and a day to celebrate the evil resilience, ingenuity, entrepreneurial skills, and frontier spirit on, on the other hand. Instead of mourning, we have chosen to celebrate God's love and kindness towards the Ndibos. We celebrate the courage, the tenacity, and the adaptability to live and thrive in all parts of the world. 
Mm, now, this is interesting. We're going to quickly look at what Nigerians are saying. A lot of reactions have followed this special day, September 29. Now, they're putting it in history as a remembrance day. They're not looking at it as a morning day, but a day of celebration to celebrate the ingenuity of the Indians, celebrate their tenacity, their ability to adapt and thrive everywhere they go, their ingenuity, their, you know, that's why they actually bring in the captains of all industry or, or so, uh, captains of industries like uh, uh, Alan Oyama to come in and, you know, Onyema to see some things, you know, to show that whatever the Indians have, they be, in their own way, they, they're making their mark. Okay, let's feel the pause of Nigerians very quickly. This one here said, there's nothing like Igbo Day. What we have is Biafran Day or Euros Day. Sit at home. <laughs> These guys. Oh my God. So, so bold. It's not even messing with. They say there's nothing like Igbo Day. The, what they have is just sit at home. They say you see that Biafran Day or Euros Day or you sit at home. <laughs> this one said, laugh out loud. Don't try and rope us in this South South. It's Igbo Day. Bam. <laughs> okay. Well, this is <laughs> honestly please this is really getting these guys are not joking they just want to sit at home don't even bring this emo day thing it is well this one here says please write to federal government to grant us public holiday on that day so that we mourn our dear brothers and sisters they said it is not morning it's a celebration of life celebration of the ingenuity of the indibos that is what uh, the whole thing uh, by Hanes and Debo is all about just to celebrate, not to mourn. Well, I guess let's see how it plays out though. This one here is saying, but I, I, but I hope that in, in the nearest future it will not be a reflection of it will not generate more bitterness than remembrance because there's no way you keep remembering that a certain day it happened and 30,000 30, of your kinsmen in the olden days were, were murdered. And you think if you remember those who did it and you think you just smile, if, if you ask me. After a while, it may actually bring bitterness if it's not controlled. That's why you need to feature in the Indibos as much as you can in the affairs of, in the affairs of Nigeria so that um, they will not think of leaving. But already, their heart is already made up. They just want to leave. And now, couple to worsen it, Nam the Khan is actually in detention to make it even really more dicier. This one here is saying, let's continue what people are saying anyway. This one here is saying, today should be declared public holiday in Eastern region. It's a good move, okay? Either it's a good move or not. The whole thing now depends on how um, the Hones and Dibble will be able to, you know, pin this down and, you know, tell the federal government that, okay, they want to set this day aside. But if you ask me, uh, I think unanimous in a regional, in a regional level, if um, Governor David Omahi, in collaboration with other governors of the state, can uh, mark that that day is going to be public holiday for Southeast, they will obey it. It's sacrosanct. To be obeyed, if they can pass it even into law in their various states within the southeastern region, they will obey it. It becomes a law that every 29th of September of every year is a remembrance day for the Indibos. Let's meet in our conversation. Do you agree with this latest move? Like this one, the one of the young men said, so there's nothing like a Igbo day. It should be their friend day or hero's day or sit at home.